Doesn't he look like he just quit drinking? Look at him, he looks like such a nerd. How's it going guys? White Box Poppy and Trash Panda and look, huh? Who's the OG? Who, who's back from the beginning? Look at this couch. Just got it back down in the basement. Thank you to my cousin and my uncle bringing this big ass. Not big ass, it's kind of heavy though. Couch down here. Way better than that old purple one. And it's way much lower. So like, if the camera doesn't seem right, maybe I'll work on the angle. I also brought the diva light down quite a bit. Let me know what you guys think. It looks pretty good in the viewfinder right now. Let me know. This is the first time I'm ever using this new camera with this couch. I didn't even have this dog back when I had this couch. I might have got this couch at like under a, maybe about a hundred subscribers. I'm not really sure. Maybe before. Which wasn't that long ago, actually. Definitely less than half a year. There's not a lot of room for him to move around, but who cares? It's not about him. I don't give a fuck about you, honestly. So today, we have an Extreme Cheapskates. Hopefully they don't take my goddamn money for this again. Unlike yesterday, 17 minute video. They just, yeah, no ads, sorry, copyrighted content. Fuck you, TLC. It's called fair use, bitch. Matter of law. Let's just hop right into this shit, shall we? I'm cutting toilet paper squares for our bathroom that we will wash and use instead of paper products. This one seems a lot lower quality. Did somebody film this on their phone, on their iPhone 4? What the hell is this? If I don't get a GoPro close up of her wiping her own asshole with reused toilet paper, I'm pissed. We have a little bin underneath the basket that holds the little toilet wipes where we put them so we can wash them later. And then when it's time to wash, I just pour them in and I never have to touch them with my hands. I don't care if you don't have to touch them with your hands, sister. Are you kidding me? Tell me that doesn't fucking reek. Oh, you can actually fully see him in the viewfinder. Look, Miles. You're doing great. Buying toilet paper just doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't do anything for you. But what about your asshole? I, it does wonders, trust me. As a middle class family that makes a good income, I shouldn't have to go into debt to buy toilet paper. I don't think that's how any of this works, actually. What kind of toilet paper are you buying? Is it pure gold? All of our cloth wipes that we have in the house, we've been using them for more than five years. Using cloth toilet paper saves us $20 a month. You, you're a middle class family and you go in debt for it's for twenty dollars a month, you go in debt. Two hundred and forty a year. That just that fucking ruins you. That breaks the bank. What the hell else is you and your family buying? Are you buying you buying one of these goddamn dogs every week? Do you have a cocaine problem? I have a sweet little puppy dandelion problem. Ah! Over a year, then that is um, two hundred and forty dollars. Oh, I'm glad you did that math after I just worked so hard on it. I had one person say she couldn't contaminate her washing machine. And I just had to laugh because if you know anything about bacteria, there's no way it can survive those harsh conditions. So contamination's not an issue at all. Okay, so here, here's the thing. I'm not going to fact check that. I'm just gonna go with she's delusional and wrong. I get that there's a lot of bacteria that probably could not survive those harsh conditions, but I'm gonna go with there are also a ton of them that can. That's why those wipes say they could kill 99.99% of germs. Come on, you're telling me it's not one fucking thing? You're not creating some new disease that's gonna kill you and your entire family? You're starting the zombie apocalypse. When Angela first came up with the, the idea of cloth toilet paper, I was kind of a little skeptical. And once I got used to it, it to me it's, it's more comforting to have something solid on your hand than the paper stuff. This is kind of dirty. It's okay, it's clean. Something kind of solid on your hand when you clean. What, what are you, Kate? What that was that girl's name, right? From the one where um, she uh, washes herself with a water bottle and soap? Are you just, what do you mean it's not, it's solid, that's, even toilet paper is solid. You I mean, I understand what you're saying, but it's kind of stupid. And the kid's like, it's dirty, mom, there's actual shit on here. I can see what I ate yesterday on this. She's like, it's fine, wipe your fucking face with it and get over with it and get over it. I'm talking way too fast. I'm just too focused on this cute boy. Actually, I'm too focused on what I want to talk about next is, so somebody sent me on Twitter, somebody tagged me in a picture of that lady from Extreme Cheapskates, the girl who does not do laundry, is an actor. All of that was fake. I'm fucking so mad right now. Literally, when I saw that last night, I was like, man, I'm angry. I'll put up a couple pictures on the screen. Resume, year 2012, role lead on TV, name of production slash director, TLC, Extreme Cheapskates. Uh, well, she can burp on cue. 
Asian American actress who often plays quirky and goofy as well as intense and dramatic characters. Yep, that's exactly what it sounded like when I watched that. I'm so fucking mad TLC. I wanted that to be real so bad. I want to go to New York and find her, marry her, and fuck her. Well, she's a real person who is named Kate, who lives in New York. But now that she's not a disgusting, smelly mess down in her cooch, I don't want any part of it. Personally, Miles is also very angry. He's also an actor. This isn't, this isn't real. I'm an actor. None of this is real. My life, all fake. I'm actually on set here over at ABC. Just kidding, I'd have more clothes if I was. Since this is extremely short, let's go ahead and take a look at the comments really quick. Because that seemed like a home-filmed family, like, a, like their version of Extreme Cheapskate. If you really know anything about bacteria, you should know that it could survive a washing machine, especially after five years. Yep. What? What do you I told you I'm a doctor? If you're middle class, you should be able to afford freaking toilet paper. What the fuck? It's like eight bucks. You got a really gosh darn good point there, buddy. Why do I even review these videos? Why don't I just read the comments? It pretty much just says what I say anyway. Ooh, this is a really good point. This is the worst thing. Also, the amount you spend on detergent, operating the machine, water and electricity bill for just your deuce rags, the 24 pack of toilet paper would be dramatically cheaper and less disturbing. Good fucking point, Fuzzle Land. <laughs> Well guys, we're gonna do a My Strange Addiction right after this, so thank you so much for watching. Super glad to have this couch back down here, even though it is super low and extremely uncomfortable. I, I'm really glad to be back on my stomping ground, so smack that face subscribe if you haven't already. Two goddamn videos right over there. My aunt was telling me that she actually knows somebody who wipes their dog's asshole. I'll wipe it with my tongue.